Edwig. And now Justin Horn heads to the strawberry capital of Texas. It's a unique town name, Poteet. But should it even be called Poteet? And did you know a country music legend was born there? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's Justin with a look at the name behind the town. You know it for the Strawberry Festival, but one could argue that Poteet should have a different name. Here's why. Francis Marion Poteet, who moved to the area after the Civil War, is the town's namesake. In 1885, he applied for post office. 1886, it was approved. That post office was named after Poteet, but it was a gentleman named Henry Mummy, who arrived years later, who was actually credited with forming the town. In 1910, Henry Mummy donated 300 acres of land to where we're standing now through the Poteet Townsite Company. As for the strawberry legacy, for that, you can once again thank Mr. Mummy and a drought that occurred in 1902. That spurred Henry Mummy into action. He started drilling for water. They drilled, drilled deep and hit the first fluent artesian water well in 1904. And it turns out there was an abundance of water, plus fertile soils, perfect for, you guessed it, strawberries. In 1948, the Rotary Club was looking for a way to enhance the boys that came back from World War II to stay on the farm. The result? The Poteet Strawberry Festival, now a South Texas mainstay that draws in thousands. It's a one time of the year this town comes alive again. And Poteet has another claim to fame. It is the birthplace of George Strait. He was born here at this hospital, which has long since shut down. Making this community, name and all, the true embodiment of small town Texas.